Today's question is, how do I reconcile any conflicts between my spiritual beliefs and my daily life? There's no separation between me figuring out my struggles in my daily life and following a spiritual path. I think that's one of the biggest things I've realized this year in particular, since this new year, is that life is the biggest spiritual teacher. It just is. It just is. You can spend all the time reading books that you want to. You can go meditate in a cave for a long time. I mean, I guess that would become your life then. But you can think about, like, <laughs> you can separate your life from, like, this is my spiritual practice and this is not. Your spiritual practice comes into your day to day just constantly. Every single struggle that you're up against is a spiritual practice challenge. I just I just have realized there is no difference because everything that I face <laughs> everything that I face um feelings of inadequacy that's something that you remedy through spiritual practice. Feelings of jealousy. That gets remedied through spiritual practice. Um, feelings of anger and resentment and dissatisfaction with people and the world at large. That can be remedied through spiritual practice. Of course, not alone. But, yeah. It's just like developing at your core a level of awareness. It's a wonderful little it doesn't it doesn't automatically autocorrect all these problems, but it is what you need. You know, it's like awareness alone does not solve your problems, but you cannot solve your problems without awareness. Um, I will say this is a good opportunity for me to talk about misunderstandings that I've had about spirituality in my day to day life, because, you know, I, I used to read all those, all those stories about, you know, monks going off into a cage, a cave and, um, cage <laughs> monks in a cage, uh, monks going off into a cave for a long period of time and completely renouncing like the materialistic world as we know it. And I thought that was what ultimately is my is my path to do. Maybe right now I'm working a job, but it's just so that I can get rich enough to go meditate in a cave for the rest of my life. Um, a lot of people have, have uh, said that this is not actually the case. Um, a real spiritual pursuit involves finding some success in this in this world, following some life purpose, um, not necessarily being attached to that end goal appreciating where you are at any given time, but yeah, success in the human world is completely perfectly in line with spirituality. Making money can be completely in line with your spirituality. Um, and I love how it was put in a book called um, uh, The Road Less Traveled, which is a fantastic book. There's a part where he talks about how like a lot of us get attracted to the very self-centered actions of these saints and monks where we go off and just be away from everything. We can claim it's in the name of some higher power, but it's also that we don't want to try. It's that the difficulties of this day-to-day -day life are so seemingly terrible that we just give up and that isn't in line with our higher selves. He says, like, you know, you have to have a personality before you can give it up. And that cuts deep. Um, I think also, as I talked about in a video about community, it's like surrounding yourself with the right people can really, really help you reconcile these conflicts of day-to-day -day life. People that you feel like you can talk about your problems honestly to and get a better idea of what you should do next. It's, it's really important to have those kind of people in your life. And if you find that consistently talking to certain people 
confuses you more or makes you do things that you don't feel follow your higher path, you need to consider putting some distance between you and those people. And you don't need to do anything, but I would recommend it. But yeah, just like I talked about in the video about, called spiritual self-care. Anything that you do to better yourself is in line with a spiritual practice. Right down to the most basic, like, silly, uh, th seemingly low-level thinking things like trying to pick up chicks. Okay, well, one of the best things that you can do to be more attractive to people is to be more self-aware. To be more accepting of who you are. To be more accepting of people. What I'm trying to say through all this is that, man, monks get laid like crazy. Go find one of those baldies and learn his secret pickup lines.